The last missing piece in the Z ecosystem was an agent panel allowing you to vibe code as hard as you like inside of your code base using MCPs as well as using context, thinking and everything else. So in this video I'm going to cover the new agent panel that is about to drop in May and show you how it works. So here we are in the new Z preview. I've been opted into this for the last month or so, so I have been in the private beta. And you now have this agent panel, which you can select from the bottom. If you just select this, which is just command question mark or just click the button, it will give you an agent panel. You can add context however you want. So if you're in the middle of looking at a page, for example, this one, automatically it will tag here saying page TSX. You can click it to add suggested or you can clear it away. Um, and then you have two modes here for the product. You have the ask mode and the write mode. Ask is obviously exactly what it says like. So I could click this, add the context and say, how can I improve the performance on this page? And it will use a little bit, look at what the code is, think about it, generate that and tell me, hey, I could do this. Um, you could also do static generation. You should suspense on here bunch of different things and it will give you a list of optimizations because that's what I asked for. Um, and then we'll just rate this uh, a helpful response. And then you can open this thread as markdown if you wish. Uh, so it actually shows you everything that was done in the markdown panel. And then you can obviously follow up more questions as you need. And then you have obviously options for models. Uh, currently I have access to 3.7 Sonnet, the thinking version, Sonnet fast edit, and then Sonnet. Uh, you can then configure that if you need to add things here. So <clears throat> you can use this, which essentially is just YOLO mode. If you click this, it'll just do whatever it wants without any confirmation. Uh, I'll show you how that works with right in a second. Um, and then you can add extra things here. So you can add Amazon bedrock, Anthropic. Copilot chat, if you so wish, DeepSeek, Google AI, LM Studios, Mistral, Alama, OpenAI. Um, and then you can also add in and install MCP extensions if you need them. Uh, so here are a list that are available right now. So for example, you can use the GitHub one um, that uses GitHub or Activity, Puppeteer, Context7, Linear, et cetera, et cetera. Bunch of different ones if you need an MCP. And obviously you can add custom ones if you need it. Uh, so if you have something running locally, you can just add it and then that will start running if it's not in their already list of extensions. So let's show how write mode works for this. So if I click write and say, mm, maybe we want to ask it the same question and then say, how can I improve performance on this page? please implement changes only to this page. And then it should start implementing those changes. It'll also talk through how those changes are going. Um, so as you can see, it's going to do this first and it will show them here. And now it's gonna do static regeneration. And we're going to force the static here. Then it's going to, oh, obviously add in some more things here, which I believe is low priority components below the fold. And we'll just let them kind of finish what it's doing. And then I'll show you how the diff looks in the buffer so that you can actually see those changes as well. So now that it's finished, it's actually telling us all of the changes it's made to this file. Uh, everything is, you know, pushed out here. So we can see what it's actually done. So it's added static ge uh, generation with revalidation. Um, optimize the image loading, reduced visual effects overhead. It's reduced this number of meter lines from eight to three. It's added this dynamic import. It's added this suspense. It's, uh, did a prefetching on links. Uh, and so that would be optimized. And now if you click this edits here, I'll actually show you all of those changes. And then you've got the option to reject them all, keep them all, or reject and individually kind of select the ones that you want. Um, and then you can make a decision about how you want to do that. So 
if I just say keep all here and then we go back to this page, there's probably some errors here, which is perfectly fine because we all know kind of how this works. Um, and that's because we've imported dynamic here and then we're using export cont dynamic here, which causes it to get confused. But as you can see, those changes are then available and then we can obviously ask more uh, follow-up questions or we can add even more context. So if we want um, the blog utils and maybe the grow grid and then obviously this page as well. So we've added a bunch of pages and just say, please improve the entire blog page, uh, including the slugs page. Feel free to edit any of the files in context. And then it will look at those and say, hmm, I'll improve this and this. And then it will continue on and do those changes. And obviously you can reject or approve them as you see fit. And we can just click here, stop. Um, and then obviously if this was uh, to continue on, it would make those changes as well. But that's what we're looking at now. We now have the ability to chat in line with our code um, by using the inline assistant. So we have this, which has been there for a while. Uh, we now have new thread, uh, so that we can actually remove any context. We now have this as part of our project, as well as, uh, the edit predictions, which I've done a previous video on. So the only thing left to talk about is the price. How much is it going to cost you to have this agent? Uh, let's talk about the free tier and also the paid tier that they just announced as of yesterday. So the paid subscription is going to change slightly. So post launch, they'll include 500 prompts and unlimited edit predictions for $20 a month. For usage beyond 500 included prompts, we'll charge you on the model that you've selected. On May 2nd, when I believe this is launching on May 2nd, you'll be able to trial the subscription for a two week period with 150 prompts included. You can just go to the account page to start that trial. Um, and if you're not interested in paying for it and you just want to try it out, they will give you 50 prompts a month and 2000 edit predictions free of charge. Um, so there we have it. Zed, the Rust based IDE, not a fork of Visual Studio Code, launching their agent editing experience this week.